Our commencement speaker is Cassandra Matei, President and CEO of Visit, Flor or Visit Orlando, the official marketing organization for America's most visited destination and theme park capital of the world. Cassandra leads the branding, marketing, and selling of the City Beautiful on a global scale, representing over 1,300 member companies across Orlando's tourism landscape. Since joining Visit Orlando in early 2021, her efforts have focused on spurring the recovery of Orlando's tourism industry, which pre-pandemic drew 76 million visitors annually to Central Florida, generating $75 billion in economic impact. Under her leadership, Visit Orlando launched a first-of-its-kind new global brand, Unbelievably Real, in collaboration with the Orlando Economic Partnership, to tell one comprehensive brand story for Orlando to reach audiences of all kinds. Her focus on collaboration has resulted in a series of powerful partnerships with brands that include Orlando Health, Michelin, and TripAdvisor. Cassandra is the first female CEO in the nonprofit organization's 37-year history. Her more, yes. Her more than two decades of successful experience in the tourism industry includes serving as president and CEO of Visit San Antonio and in key leadership roles at Visit Dallas, Starwood Hotels and Resorts Worldwide, and Hyatt Hotels. She has been named one of the 50 most powerful people by Orlando Magazine, a game changer by the Orlando Business Journal, and one of the top 25 women in the meetings industry by Meetings and Conventions Magazine. Please join me in welcoming Cassandra Matei. Good evening, graduates, faculty members, and many proud parents and family members. This is a great night. It is absolutely an honor to address you today and share a few things that I have learned throughout my career that has ultimately led me to the pinnacle of my career as president and CEO at Visit Orlando, the most visited destination in the U.S. Thank you. Yes. You've all heard it before. Success is not a straight line. And often when it, it involves overcoming challenges and adversity. And this is precisely what you, the class of 2023, have done over the past couple of years. Completing college during a global pandemic was no easy task. I commend each and every one of you for your resilience, determination, and perseverance. However, yes, please. <laughs> However, the roller coaster ride is not over. And in fact, in some ways, it's just begun. Today, I would like to share some tips to help you embrace that roller coaster's unpredictability, keep your eyes open, throw your hands up in the air, and enjoy the ride. My first tip, don't be a single rider. One of the best time-saving hacks from theme park enthusiasts is to use the single rider line. This is that special line that allows guests to join the attraction as one rider to fill in the empty seats from large parties. These spots often have less wait time. And in life, you can go alone, but I believe you achieve greater success with riders and the ones that you know alongside you. And that starts now. 
Look around you. You've made friends and formed relationships that can be mutually beneficial and fulfilling for years into your future. I've repeatedly found this to be true in my career. Finding my first job in the travel industry, I activated my friends, my parents' network to open up doors. In fact, a few months before I was sitting in the same chair that you are, I was floating down the river with one of my friends talking about what were we going to do after graduation. And frankly, I really didn't know. He suggested reaching out to a grade school friend for an introduction to his mother. She worked in the travel and tourism industry. That float down the river led to my first job. So activate and cultivate your network throughout your career. By being in the travel industry, as long as I have, I am very fortunate that I have contacts all around the world. Maintaining those relationships have been a true key to my success. Whether it's to solve a problem, take the next step in my career, or just commiserate, don't ever underestimate the power of your village. Do you know that a fully loaded roller coaster will move faster than when only a few people are on board? There's an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I think that together you can go both fast and far. My second tip, don't be discouraged by the wait line. In life, you can always get, you cannot always get front of the line access. Building a career takes time. You have to build up your experience, and many of you have done so by doing that through work or internships while in school. And in fact, I want to get a great shout out to a couple of you that have interned at Visit Orlando. Depending on your career path, the wait may feel longer than the wizarding world of Harry Potter on opening day. No matter your path, one way I have found is to stay focused, is to stay connected to your why. If you know the why and are working towards a greater goal and impact beyond yourself, you feel more positive and can maintain motivation. Work with purpose is so much more fulfilling than just working for that paycheck. I commend this generation for giving a greater voice to the why and keeping companies accountable to share theirs. At Visit Orlando, my why is the impact that we make on the local community. Our tourism industry is an essential part of Central Florida's economy. Because of tourism, we have an airport with extensive flight options around the world. We have endless entertainment options, including a world-class performing arts center and venues like stadiums and arenas. Our industry supports nearly 400,000 jobs in Central Florida, giving a career path to people of all backgrounds and educational levels. For many, Tourism was a fun entry-level position with jobs like lifeguards, servers, or even characters. And for many of you, I hope you stay within the tourism industry because the opportunities continue to evolve. It's an industry where you can grow from a maintenance worker to a park president, to a server to owning your own restaurant, and from a ride attendant to our very own Orange County Mayor. These are unbelievably real Orlando examples, and this impact is my why. Take the time to think about yours and align your why 
with your career goals. Third, don't discount how your attitude impacts the outcome. If you walk through life or through that turnstile, dreading the experience, if you think it's going to be scary or awful, your experience will be different than if you pull down that lap bar with optimism. Think about the people ex exiting those attractions. Some are sweating and extreme relief that they survived it, why others are high-fiving, celebrating that they not only you know, survived it, but they had a lot of fun. Attitude plays a key role in the outcome, in a theme park, in your career, and to be honest, in your overall life. I generally believe that this is one of my key points of my personal success. I actually consider myself an ultimate optimist. To me, the glass just isn't, is, just isn't half full. It's a beautiful glass with a delicious drink with room for ice and a cherry on top. As a leader of an organization during the pandemic, it really tested my optimism, but I knew we had to focus on the recovery for our community, that there was no time for a negative mindset. There are times that I give myself pep talks. It could be before doing a task for the very first time, you know, your first day on your job, or ahead of speaking to a large group. The one thing that you can control is your attitude. And why I personally have experienced this, there are plenty of research to back me up. According to the author of The Happiness Advantage, we become more successful when we are happier and more positive. Studies found that optimists were 40% more likely to get promoted six times more likely to be highly engaged at work, and five times less likely to burn out than pessimists. The self-made billionaire Richard Branson was spot on when he said, positive people don't just have a good day, they make a good day. So how do you do that? Focus your energy on, your, on the positive things, what's working, and again, what you can control. And don't get too ahead of yourself by only thinking about those big goals. Break it down in smaller and celebrate those. Just remember, no one gets it right 100% of the time. There is no perfect career path. The trajectory is not always forward, and that is absolutely okay. Just like with the roller coaster, you need the momentum of a drop to help you make the next climb. When you find yourself in the middle of a decline, plummet, or even treading back, backwards, remember, lean on your friends, colleagues, and network for advice, support, and more, but don't wait until you need to build that trust Put in the effort early and maintain it. Stay connected to your why. If you lose it, take time to find it and invest in aligning your purpose with your work. Think positively. Your attitude can make all the difference in helping you propel forward to achieve your next milestone. Challenges are what make the journey more fulfilling and memorable. I cannot wait to see where your journey takes you. Congratulations, UCF Class of 2023. Go Knights! Thank you, Cassandra. I, I, I hope that all of our students here are about to graduate. When they go on a roller coaster, they'll be thinking about all the things you said. Uh, great way to put it. Thank you so much for being here.